The worst gig I've ever done in my entire life. Here we go. This is the worst gig I ever did. So Rob Riggle, yep. who's a good buddy of mine, does this charity Flex. event in Kansas, up top. Okay. Kansas City every year. He has this charity event. Wonderful people. Let me just specify that these are wonderful, <laughs> wonderful people. All right. And um, they do uh, they do this golf tournament, and then after the golf tournament night, they do this they do a big event. It's a fundraiser where they you know get money, and it's it's a big charity. Can't remember the charity, sorry. And um, and then the guy goes, um, Rob recommended me to do stand up, and and I said, well now let's let's preface that <laughs> you know John knows I, I'm not what you would call a corporate comedian. I curse. Yeah. Now and then, my material might be a little bit edgier than John's, yeah. just a touch. Um, I don't do the hail Satan thing you do at the end, but other than that, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, kind of, kind of yeah. like that. So, um, so I just said, you know, I I put it out there, and I said, he goes, oh no no, we we want it. You can oh be yeah, as, it's always oh yeah, go do yeah, yeah, oh, yeah we yeah, yeah. we're fine. Be as blue as you want to be, <laughs> you know. It's da 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 da. And I said, and I was like, okay, so. I go there and, and the money is amazing. As you yep. know, for corporate gigs, the money was really good. And so I was like, okay, good. And he's like, yeah, 45 minutes, you're, you, you'd be great. And uh, I'm and, stressing already. <laughs> yeah. And so I go to play in the golf tournament. I play with, um, I can't remember this Hall of Famer's name. He was a great fullback, short dude. He was just, a, I think he played at Philadelphia. My, Mike Allstott or something. Uh, anyway, too, yeah. Yeah. anyway, yeah. anyway, so <laughs> play this golf tournament, <laughs> have a great day. Um, and then that night he goes, yeah, we're doing the, um, event at Top Golf, And I was yeah. like, okay, cool. So go to Top the comedy show, the comedy show at Top Golf. <laughs> so I go to the, I go to the thing. Yeah. You're, you understand you're getting this already. And, um, and so I go to the, I go to top, go to the back to the hotel shower, come back and go to Top Golf, And I'm there and I'm there half hour, 45 minutes before the show. And I see them way out like 150 175 yards out they're building this little platform and i go what's that for he goes that's the stage and i go that's the stage i go these people are are 175 yards away from the thing. He goes oh we're gonna televise it so and there's and this place is no, packed. Dude, no 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 this no, is no, this no, place no, is no, packed no 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 it's packed and so With all people that are not the charity no no the it's, people all the charity. That, it's all the charity there are people all oh, the no, bay dude. you know all the bays oh, yeah. are filled i mean oh, no. two oh, levels no. up the bays are filled and i was like i mean there's probably there's probably a thousand people there and i was like and i and i was like dude you got to be kidding me like i'm gonna go 175 yards out oh, and do this show <laughs> And it is you comedy's not about like No, you need everybody. Yeah. You need engagement. Yeah, you need yeah. engagement. And and there's like and so I go there and I was like, All right, well, it was a lot of money. Let's just say it was a yeah, lot of money. So it. I was like, Good. Well, sometimes you gotta take a hit, you know, sometimes you just gotta take a hit. And as I'm starting to go, now I go, are you now? I cannot believe this. <laughs> now you're I'm cool. I'm like here and yeah. I'm not there, but I feel yeah. heavy. Now what's, what's even crazier is at one point I'm walking, walk, kind of walking through and one of the, the bays is full of nuns. Dude. And I go, dude, I go, I thought you said this was going to be, he goes, oh no, no, they're fine with it. And I go, no, 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 sir. I don't think they will be. <laughs> they're cool and I nuns. said, if you've heard me, my act, yeah. cool they're, they're not going to be cool. And, um, and so I just, I bit the bullet. Now this was, this was hands down the worst 45 minutes of comedy I've ever experienced. <laughs> yep, but what made it even worse is it was a three second delay. <laughs> so what I was saying, what I was saying into the microphone didn't translate back on the video oh, until my. three seconds. Um, I did 45 minutes. I don't even know how you could do that. And it was 45 minutes. And then the best part of the whole night was, is I walked back head in hand because you First of all, you couldn't hear anything. If anybody did laugh, I laughed. never would have known. <laughs> I'd have gone around the net to the parking yeah. lot, out the back. And then I walked <laughs> through, and two of the nuns came out and said, oh, that was very funny. We had such a good time. That's shocking, dude. 
And I was like, all right. It's Last like the, time I'm taking advice from Rob Riggle. Ever. That's all I'm saying. Dustin Nickerson always says he calls it a, he calls it because we text. You know, there's a bunch of comics that will text each other about how the shows are bad or how the, yeah. the situation is not good. This crowd is whatever. We all were talking about it with each other. He said he calls it a brown bag of money. He said, "Where? What, what city was that in? Kansas City. He goes, would you fly to Kansas City to pick up a brown bag of money with $10,000? You go, yeah. He's like, that's what you're doing. Nice. And you, whatever, 45 minutes. But then you you just have to get through that somehow and then <laughs> try to not relapse do when you, you get home. Do you think you have the record for furthest distance between you and an audience? A hundred percent I have to. <laughs> I mean, the only way that the only way that somebody could beat me if, if somebody went to the 200 yes. yard marker <laughs> on that on that yep. on that thing. Was there even a thought of crowd work? <laughs> crowd work like like yeah. can you see the nuns like they're in front of you like a clue no because i yeah, wear like, glasses Dude. i wear glasses and i didn't bring my glasses so i <laughs> couldn't 21 even, what i could 21. barely there was a guy standing in front of me with a camera that was like filming me for the live tv oh thing. yeah he had to be there and that was the only guy that was out there dude <laughs> tell him to put if you put like eight people on chairs in front of you you could do it <laughs> Why wouldn't they put chairs? Oh, which should have, I should like, ask for the eight nuns to yeah, sit just, in front or of me? Like, yeah, just let me get booth four, five, and six. Yeah. Just put them here. <laughs> were they hitting balls <laughs> at you or no? <laughs> like, that were they would, still playing while you were out that, there or no? Actually, that would have been entertaining. That would have been better. <laughs> I would have yeah. preferred it if they would have been hitting balls at me. Is it okay if I put? My feet <sighs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you're good. Make yourself at home. Yeah. My goodness, I mean, that's we had one of our. Uh, well, I mean, you could the, put your new square-toed boots. In no, the box. Uh, <laughs> no, just one of the children we sponsor from a third-world country actually kind of designed that and sent it over. But no, put your dunks up on there. That's fine. <laughs> The no, dunks were made by children too, to be fair. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, that's fair, actually. Good point. Now we uh let's see. I mean, I've been dude, I've been in cities with doing shows, I mean, at the beginning where you just go, they don't they go, they see your Instagram and they go, Hey, do that at my kid's karate themed birthday. <laughs> and you go, I always measure it like uh uh oh, what's her name? Shout out. Uh uh thomas rett's wife that she was uh lauren laura lauren lauren they were like hey come do comedy in for my like birthday part lauren come do comedy for my like sister's birthday or something like that and i was like well i love to do comedy of course we like to make people laugh where she goes well in our living room <laughs> and i go man like for both of our sake Let's not do this. Like we're not even gonna discuss Buddy. like money or 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 schedule because this is gonna go bad. Like everybody what am I says the same thing. I've had people ask me like, "Oh my my boyfriend's birthday, he loves you." Yes, come yeah, yeah, come yeah, do yeah, the yeah. come do the show. And I yeah. was like, no. But I I always but we but we do we like to do comedy. Yes. Do we like to make money? Yes. Do we like to make people laugh? Yes. But you I always go. Would Kevin Hart succeed here? No, Kevin Hart would not have succeeded at Top Golf. 